Hi and welcome back to Normski TV doing another transfer daily. This one is going to be quite short, um, not a lot to talk about um, in terms of um, incomings. We're still awaiting um, the situation with Tavares. The deal um, is more or less done. It's just I think obviously we're just waiting uh, to hear the announcement and it's, it's just getting quite long now. Do you know what I mean? You've got clubs, <laughs> Brighton are, are signing. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute concerning Yves Basuma. Um, but, you know, you've got clubs now beginning to start to sign and, and, and announce their their, um, their signings. And Arsenal still waiting. The Lukonga deal, what's happening with that? Um, um, it, <laughs> it is getting quite frustrating. I'm not going to lie now. It really is getting quite frustrating. But there is one deal that has been confirmed. Um, and that's when Dunsey is actually signed with um, Olympic Marseille. Um, they've confirmed that he's signed and um, he's now going to be on loan to them for uh, basically a whole season with the obligation to buy, which we're expecting to get around about £10 million for him. Um, as I said yesterday, you know, he's definitely not in Arteta's plans and, you know, don't see no way of him coming back. That's why there's that obligation of the the ten million um, to be spent after his loan um, expires. Um, you know, um, with regards to um, Ben White, it looks like Arsenal are going to go back in with a third bid. There's so much conflicting reports concerning Ben White. Um, one minute we're hearing that you know the the bid was accepted and Brighton have rubbished that um, and. You know, you just don't know who to believe at the moment. Now, we're, Sky is reporting that Arsenal, Arsenal are going to go back in with a third bid. Again, as I said, Hagel FC is at it again. Um, you know, whether Everton, Man City or Chelsea are genuine in terms of their interest in him, who knows, but it doesn't help. It could be that um, his representatives just want um, Arsenal to just hurry up and get this deal over the line. So, you know, they may be just putting it out there. Um, but for me, this thing is just taking long. I know England are in the Euros and they're going to wait until after, you know, if they win it or exit it, then we can start seeing some kind of progression. But at the moment, they're saying Arsenal are now going to go back in with an improved bid. What that is, I don't know, because 50 million was rejected or, the, 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 or you know, that's what we've been told it was rejected. Even some people are saying it was accepted, but it seems obviously it's been rejected. So Arsenal are now going to go back in. It seems as if Brighton want more than 50 million. There's upwards of 55 million. And, and so it's a structural, the way it's going to be structured, the payment's going to be structured. So I think that's what's taking the time in terms of um, the, the, the negotiations between um, Brighton and Arsenal. But if we don't pull out fingers, there's too many clubs now stiffing around now. And I just can't afford for another been doing a situation where we've been linked with this guy and then it gets, you know, the card gets pulled under our feet and he's gone. So, again, we have to just wait and see concerning that. As I said, this is not going to be a long one because, um, you know, I'm just going over old stuff. We, we know about the Lakonga situation. We just have to just wait and uh, hopefully he's going to be having his medical. Um, don't know if he's flowing over yet, but... Um, if he does, he's going to have to go through the quarantine and everything else. So I think those two are the ones that we just want to hear. These guys are prospects, you know what I mean? These are not people to come in and make the team any better. These are prospects. So we do need to go and get players that can make the team better. We need an attacking midfielder. We need a right back. You know, I'm hearing in terms of Hector Bellerin, um, you know, Arsenal don't want to loan him out. They want anywhere between... I think it's like 18 to 20 million pounds for Bellerin. They don't want to entertain any loan deal whatsoever. Um, I don't know if Inter Milan are saying that they want to take him on, on loan with the option to buy. That's not what it is. We just need that man off our books. And, uh, I'm just worried that, you know, we could be going into the season. Um, it's only a few, maybe a week, two weeks before the pre-season starts. And remember, the season starts in August. We need to get players in. We need a right back, absolutely need a right back. We already have said got the left back sorted out, um, but we need somebody that's going to come in and make the team better. Also, attacking midfielder. We need an attacking midfielder. We're um, 
as I said, linked with um, Locatelli or Locatelli, as I've been told to pronounce it right, Locatelli. Um, you know, we are kind of like the front runners, but it seems as if, you know, he wants to go to Juventus now. It seems as if we have the money, um, we can table that because Juventus are struggling financially and they're trying to look at a structured payment or a swap deal. It seems as if Sassolso or Solo don't want to um, um, entertain that. They just want to see cash. Now, Arsenal are in a good position and are leading the race to sign uh, Lacatelli, but that's if he wants to come to us. As I say, we can't offer him Champions League, we can't offer him Europe or anything like that, but he would definitely make our side much better. Other news is that, which is interesting, is that, you know, there's talk that there's a boost in terms of us possibly um, um, maybe getting Yves Basuma. Um, and the reason why I say that um, is because uh, what happened is that Art of Brighton seemed as if they've um, 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 signed a, a, a midfielder. I'm just looking for that. Um, when I do find it, but they've signed a new um, midfielder um, and he comes from, why can't I find it? And here we go again, this mad thing, just trying to find it for you. Right, let me, let's go to Sky Sports. Maybe it's better if I go there and hopefully I can find it there. But yeah, Brighton, um, they have signed a new player and it might mean there's a chance that Eves Basuma can end up um, possibly um, coming to Arsenal. That's if Brighton want to sell him. You know, he's, you know, he's worth 40 million um, and um, it's whether Brighton, you know, want to sell him or not. Um, he wants to come to us, but it's whether Brighton wants to... Um, do that deal uh 40 million pounds i'll be happy to take him i'm just trying to find it the guy's name is um m wet um if i've pronounced that right from rb um salzburg he's a zambian um international and they've um bought him um they says an undisclosed fee but we understand the fee to be around about 18 to 20 million pounds um now it looks like the deal has been done where does that leave Yves Basuma? Is he going to partner with this guy? Or will Arsenal now look at this and think, right, OK, maybe this is our chance to maybe test the waters with Brighton. As I said, Yves Basuma, he wants to come to Arsenal. He's an Arsenal fan, but Arsenal are not at the moment making any moves. You know, I don't know what's happening there. He would be a fantastic addition in that midfield we need him in that midfield because we need a robust midfield we need a midfield that's going to be able to protect that back four back back three whatever it is um and so hopefully um something may come of that but at the moment as it stands it's agul fc linked fc right now um look there's a lot of time still left in the transfer window but as time ticks over now you get to that point where you're thinking what's going on you know Still haven't heard any news with Granite Xhaka. Um, Lacazette, what's happening with that situation with, with his future unknown? Is, are we going to keep him? Are we going to extend his contract? Or are we going to try and sell him? You've got Kalasnac, Bellerin, as I, I spoke about. What's happening with these players? Torreira, what's happening there? Everything's gone really quiet on, on this front. But as I said, we need to get rid of a lot of dead wood. We need to get a little rid of a lot of dead wood, um, you know, to um, generate funds in order for us to go out and maybe buy a James Madison. We've been linked with him, but he's going to probably cost in excess of £70 million. Will Arsenal be prepared to pay that? Would he come to Arsenal? That's the big question. At the moment, things are not looking too good right now. Yes, we're bringing in Tavares and um, um, Lukonga, but I just want to see somebody that's got a name, you know, and, 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 and can make Arsenal different, take them to the next level. At the moment, those two players are not going to take them to the next level. Someone like a James Madison, someone like a Locatelli will take us to the next level. But at the moment, it's not looking like that right now. Um, the, the time it, it takes Arsenal to be speaking with different representatives and, as I said, haggling over whatever it is, 
I just don't know. We was meant to so cool to have a, a war chest of 250 million pounds. What, what's going on there? Where did that report come from? Yeah, I know my Arsenal have got money to spend, but why are we taking so long? We need to um, show some intent now in this transfer window. You know, there was all the big talk. Um, Arteta was giving the big talk. They do. Um, Josh, you know, the whole lot of them saying that we need to overhaul this squad. Well, listen, uh, let's do it, man. Pre-season's coming up soon. We, you know, we, we, our first few, um, few games um, are going to be difficult. So we need to make sure that we've got the players in, bedded them in, ready to go um, come the new season. Listen, guys, it's been another one of those um, transfer daily, uh, but it is what it is. Um, you can see by my face, I'm frustrated. Just want to see something happen. I just want to hear some sort of announcement and hopefully we can kickstart this transfer window. But at the moment, it's still Agil FC, Linked FC, and now I'm going to say Waiting FC. <laughs> Think of some names and put it in the comments for me. Listen, guys, thanks again for subscribing to the channel. Please like, subscribe if you're new, share, and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily. Take care.